How's it going everyone? Papa Bear here with a painting tutorial on how I painted my non-metallic metal black for my Death Watch squad. I'm actually a part of a organization called Chapter of Hope and we put together armies and miniatures and all that stuff and we donate it to big events um, that they can raffle off for charity. Uh, this Death Watch squad will actually be a part of the uh, Nova Charitable Foundation raffle that'll be at the Nova Open 2019. So grab your tickets for them if you want to buy them, but if you don't, here's how I painted them. All right, here we go. We're going to do some non-metallic metal black, how I'm painting my Death Watch. Um, this guy right here is actually going to be a part of the uh, Chapter of Hope Death Watch team that I'm doing. Uh, that will be raffled off at the Nova Open 2019 and uh, he's going to have a storm shield with it so I'm going to show you how I paint his black armor um, that way if you want to paint some black armor to kill some filthy Xenos by all means do it alright we're really only going to need three different colors um, we're going to need uh, black gray we're going to need somber gray right here and then we're going to need where's my Fenrisian gray at oh, right here and we're going to need just a GW Fenrisian gray now this Fenrisian gray you don't have to do any mixtures with it it's just going to be a straight final highlight so um, what I like to do when I paint um, when I sit down and have a painting session is I like to put everything in order all right so what I'll do is, our first actual one will be a black gray. So I'm gonna put a couple drops there. Then I'm gonna drop three here. One, two, three. Two here. One, two, then one here one all right so right now what we have is we have just black gray three drops of black gray two drops of back black gray one drop of black gray all right then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my somber gray next and I'm gonna go and put one drop of somber gray in each one so just to kind of get the air bubbles out I'll do that and then I'll go whoop Come on, get on out. One drop there, one drop there, one drop there. All right. Now what I'll do is I'll just take an old brush that I have and I will mix these up. Just like so. All right. And these will actually be my four layers that I'm going to use. All right, let me get my uh, paint. My paint. Uh, don't forget to get your little uh, <laughs> paint water. So, rinse off my brush. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, four different colors that we're going to use for our non-metallic metal black. Um, you have a straight um, black gray. You have a three to one mix of black gray and somber gray. Two to one mix of black gray and somber gray. And then you have a one to one mix of black gray and somber gray. These are going to be your basic transitions for the armor. All right. So. Let me get out my double zero. Where are you at? Right here, Windsor Newton. And what I like to do before I start painting is I want to have a plan. So when I'm painting my models, I'll actually do the foot first, then the shin and knee, then the thigh, next foot, 
shin and knee, thigh, groin and backside if need be, chest, so on and so forth. Um, and I'll do it with all four colors. And the reason why I do that is because I can actually always see some sort of um, progression as I go. All right, so one thing I want to show you real quick on my wet palette is, let's just say this is the area that you're wanting to paint, all right? This is all black. Just pretend it's all black, all right? My first coat will be at the halfway point, and it'll be just like this. All right, my second coat will be about two thirds of the way in. About, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. And then my third coat will be right there. And then my fourth coat will be just like this. So when you're actually painting this on, just remember this first coat will actually go on half of the area that you're looking at. So I'll kind of show you. Tell you what I'll show you on the knee pad first all right so as I'm painting the knee pad what I'm gonna do since the, the lights coming up this way is I'm gonna start painting the top part of it and, my, and I'm only going to paint about halfway all right so if you look at that I don't know if how good you can see that. Um, it's about halfway, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this one just like this. Leaving a little bit of the first transition. All right. Let it dry a little bit. Then I'm gonna put the third layer on. Just like that. The trick with black is you don't wanna get too gray. And you wanna have some black in there so you can actually see it. All right. Fall on that a little bit and then I'm gonna do our last layer. And it's just gonna be at the very top. All right. Kind of curve it in to make it look like it's rounded just like so now this is kind of what it looks like it's kind of hard to see because it is black um, but it's not complete because we still have two more highlights to go on it and when we get those highlights done it'll really make it look better so let me go ahead and start the foot now what I like to do I know there's a lot of different theories with non-metallic metal um, about how the light source is supposed to be. Um, I, honestly, I really don't know any of that. I basically look at the model and see where the light is shining on it, and that's what I paint. So the toe right here, I'm gonna do the toe. And then I'm gonna paint the inside of this foot right here. Now, this is where I'm gonna tell you how uh, this is what I was telling you before about actually uh, working in segments. So I think this transition is lighter, it's darker here. All right. It's okay to get a little messy with things you haven't painted yet. Uh, the bottom of his feet right here, his boots, I actually do that in a different color. So I don't care if I over splash on it. I'm going to come here and I'm going to actually put a little bit more right here. But then I'm going to come that way. I'm going to come up here. Do that. And then I'm going to put a little bit right here. All right. Go to my third layer. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some right here on this side of the toe, kind of curve it in. And then I'm gonna put a little bit right here too. So all it does is create an effect of some kind of reflection. All right. 
Now that's basically what we're doing when we're painting miniatures, is we are magicians with brushes, making something seem that it's not. All right, then right here, I'm gonna come to a little bit there, and I'm also gonna come up a little bit. And then right here, right there, and I missed one here, but that's okay because I want to really come out more since there is a cape there. All right. So I've done the knee pad and the foot, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the shins. Now when I'm looking at it, it looks like the light is actually below here, and then on the sides right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to incorporate that. I'm going to paint a little bit right here. On the side. And then I'm going to paint down. And then I'm going to paint right here. Right about to there. Not too high. And I'm going to do the same right here. Kind of at an angle. Alright, then I'm going to start the second one, go up almost to it, alright, so curve it here. Then right here at the top, I'm going to make it kind of look like it's catching light in two different places. And do the same thing right here. Third one. Just a little bit more right here. Not going to go all the way down the side. We'll see why in a second. All right, and then the final one. I'm actually going to go a lot right here. I'm going to go a lot right here. And I'm going to come across the bottom, like so. I paint the corner right here, and then definitely paint the corner right here. Now, one thing I want to point out with non-metallic metal, it does not look good in my opinion, until you get the final two highlights done on it. All right, so we got the bases for the foot, the front of the shin, and the knee pad. Now I'm gonna do this thigh plate and the thigh. Now the way I look at it is I'm getting light from here down, from here down, from here down, all right? So that's the way I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna start right here. Put a line right there, and then I'm going to paint it all the way to the end. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing right here, 
just to make sure that my line is perfect. And it goes down the same. All right. Then right here, I'm actually going to put a little bit right there. And I'm going to go about halfway down the middle of his inside of his thigh. Okay. So as you can see, get a little closer. Put it from here to here, here to here, there to there, all right? That's kind of the basics of where I want my blends to be. So then I'm gonna go with my next step. And I'm gonna come right here, except I'm just gonna leave a little bit of spot right there. First one, all right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my third layer. I'm going to start with the highest point, go down, and this should be possibly about halfway between your first and your, uh, your first layer, your first just straight gray layer, okay? That's a good... Uh, because if you look at it, there's four parts. So each part should be a quarter of what you're painting. All right. So, got that going. Now I'm going to paint the final one. It should be about a quarter of the area that we're coloring. So basically what I've done is I've done the base coat. Let me see if you can see the base, just the base color of the black for right now. All right. It's very hard to see in this, but you can kind of get the, the idea of what I'm trying to do. And it's really going to come together when we highlight it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how I highlight it. All right. First, you can get your shadow gray or your somber gray, shake it up, and just put a drop anywhere you want. I try to put it on top of my actual colors just so I don't accidentally, when I'm grinding, mistake it as a level and screw things up. All right, so now I'm gonna get my number three painting brush, get some water on it. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna edge highlight. Switch straight shadow gray. Every edge of that armor, I'm gonna highlight. All right. And then what I'll do so at the very top, I'll kind of add a little bit more. I'll come in a little bit more. you understand why in a minute. Okay. So if you can see now, kind of added a little bit 
of that line. Let me focus in a little bit better. A little bit of that line in there. All right, so let's do it for the rest of the miniature. All right, so I'm gonna line highlight everything. Now, one thing I do want to tell you is I usually piecemeal painting the armor um, as I go along, but I don't actually highlight until I've done the entire armor or uh, the entire model. Uh, so basically, what I'm telling you is I normally don't highlight at this stage. What I would do is I'd paint the foot, shin, thigh, foot, shin, thigh, all the way up until it's all basically covered. And then I would highlight the entire model. But for the sake of this tutorial, um, there we go, I'm gonna focus in. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna actually uh, highlight this part for you. So, let me get back here. Go a little line. All right, this will really pop out now. I will also tell you too, I normally use painting handles. But being that this is my first painting tutorial, I forgot to put it on a painting handle. So dumb, dumb Joe. Come on, Papa Bear, get your stuff together. But you see what I'm trying to do here. Now, if you notice, there's a separation between the armor right here. I'm going to go ahead and paint that. And now, yes, I will paint the back part of it too. But I'm just teaching you the basics of how to paint this, my color combo, uh, my technique for doing it, how I, how I paint without burning myself out. Um, and then eventually, I will paint the rest of this model. And yes, I will have painting handles on the other models that I have. <laughs> I will not make that mistake again. All right. I'm gonna put a nice little line right here. Let the light catch on it. And then what I like to do for the toes is actually put a line across it. Right across the toe. And then I need to put a little bit at the bottom of the knee. Alright, so now as you can see, I'm focusing on it, got a little bit more highlighting on it, still looks black, doesn't look like super gray, looks like a shiny black in my opinion, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll set, put a couple of pictures up there so you can see what it looks better like. Now, the final highlight is you need to take your Fenrisian gray, shake it up. Take an old paintbrush, put a little bit down, rinse off your brush, and this one will be for the actual uh, extreme highlights. So you're only going to put them in dots. So what I'll do is I'll put a dot like right here, 
right there. Um, if in the middle of the armor you have like a high, high part into it, I put a dot right there too, but I might actually line it up a little bit like that. All right, I had a phone call while I was actually line highlighting, so let me get back to that. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna hit the extreme corners and the highlights of it. And what this does, is it tricks us into thinking that it's shiny. And circular ones, what I'll definitely do is I'll put one at the very top, like so. Some on the sides, like this. Like that. And then I'll kind of off-center one on the bottom. Alright, then I'll put a touch here, put a touch here, definitely put a touch there. Now, because it's curving up, I'll put one right here, then I'll also put one right there. So all I'm doing is I'm just trying to exaggerate where some of these highlights are. But now with this one, I always do a touch in the corner right there. And then one right here. There you have it. This is how I paint my non-metallic metal black. And there you have it, my non-metallic metal black that I painted for my death watch. So if you want to purge some Xenos in style, now you know the recipe to do it. Uh, keep practicing, don't get discouraged. It doesn't happen overnight, just keep on grinding with it until you get it right the way you want it. All right, now remember, this death watch squad is gonna be donated to the Nova Charitable Foundation for the Nova Open 2019. Please check it out. If you're interested in getting it, they'll be selling tickets for it. Buy your tickets and it all goes to charity and you can walk your way with a, a pretty nice looking death watch squad. All right. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And until next time, stay true and keep grinding.